and what is up everybody jeremy here excited to bring you another starfield guide video today we're going to talk about a very specific character build that you can do and yes in the whole scheme of things when it comes to starfield builds don't really matter because there is no level cap and you can continually add more skills to whatever you like during that time but it does matter if you're trying to do something very specific early in the game and that's what we're going to talk about and before we get into all the details don't forget if you like this video don't forget to hit like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as everything does help out now into the details details are right here the vanguard bounty hunter build what are we trying to accomplish well we're trying to do this these things we're trying to optimize damage from, from our vanguard obliterator auto projectors that's a ship weapon and enhance our ship's top speed with skills and ship crew members and what this will allow us to do is allow us to go toe to toe against fleets and high level ships while playing at very hard difficulty at very hard difficulty by level 10 and i do have some videos i'll put one link up above right now i have a video here that shows a level 10 ship going at it toe to toe with the crimson fleet or like high level ships in varun uh, high varun high level varun ships in serpentus all right with this build you can commandeer the best ships very early in the game and this is fantastic for people who love any kind of ship activity ship building ship commandeering um ship combat this is where you want to go and of course this is a great basis if you like from the very beginning to start building out other skills in every area just it's a great way to just go about this game and it's very enjoyable very enjoyable especially people who love dealing with ships all right so that that's part one part two what is your skill point allocation well one we're calling this a Vanguard Bounty Hunter build. You are going to use a Bounty Hunter as your background. And with that, this, I think we should just go to the skills over here. Let's go to the skills over here, show you the skills. This is a level, this is currently a level 12 build that I have going on. So with the background hunter, a back, background of Bounty Hunter in this game, you have three points in the tech tree. This is the only, only background that has three points in the tech tree you have a point in the boost pack training one in piloting and one in targeting control systems all essential if you want to commandeer ships all right or build ships or even deal stuff for ships so what i usually do like once i've hit level two i'm building the skill for a boost pack training i'm jumping around during combat i put a point into boost pack training then right away i start building up my engine systems in this process and we'll talk about here like after we complete the prologue and get to New Atlantis. I go immediately start the Vanguard quest. You get into the simulator, right? You get into that, a, a little, what, flight combat simulator where you can already start building your engine system. So I'm already putting in, like, by that time, I think you're already level three. You like, yeah, you go to the lodge, like, well, you reach New Atlantis, you're level two. You go to the lodge and complete the whole prologue process, like the, con the first set of constellation quests, you're already level three. And then that means you could put another point into engine systems right there. So right away, I'm just like, it's very easy to uh, level up engine systems. You just boost ahead and stop. Just continually stopping and starting your boost and you hit, you upgrade your engine systems. So right away, I'm upgrading this to four. And then the, um, the other points all the way to level 12, I'm just going back and forth from energy systems and particle beam weapon systems until level 12. Um, and essentially, this is what you're doing. You're trying to get to 30% increased damage on energy weapon systems and particle beam weapon systems. So what that does is, like, it what it does, yeah, increase your damages to both of these energy systems. But both of these bonuses apply to the Vanguard Obliterator Odd Projectors, giving you 60% damage at level twelve. Uh, level 12. But also, just note this: at level 10. You have 20% increased damage in energy weapon systems and 20% in particle beam weapons. You're at level, you're at 40% damage to your um, to your Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors, which is huge. All right, and I'll tell you this: if you just upgrade to 30%, 30%, and you're at level, that means you're at level what? You're you're at, you're still at level nine or ten, right? Nine or ten by this point, you're. You're okay. I'll tell you what I'm If you're playing very hard, you have the Vanguard Obliterated Art Projectors. You have an and and you go and you have 30% damage. I think at 30%, you're you're good. You're like you're okay, and that's including your crew member bonuses too. You're okay. Once you cross the threshold into 40%, that's when you start dominating. That's where I feel like all right now, now I feel like I've tipped the scale. 
That's where I feel like a top to the scale. And once you reach reach 60% damage to your Vanguard Obliterator R projectors, then then you're just dom you're completely dominating already. All right, you you're you're set you you essentially created a glass cannon. <laughs> that's what you're that's what you kind of just did at that time point in time. All right, so you're at 60% here, and let's talk about the skills as we continue down the tree. So um. Yeah, so we reached 12. We have energy weapon and particle beam weapon systems at level 3 each. For level 13 and 16, like, and I kind of say, like, go into piloting, build up to Class C piloting, and that allows you to just be able to commandeer any ship you want. And when you're doing, when you're commandeering ships, there's also a great exploit to shell unregistered ships, so you can make a lot of money here, too. I'll put that video up right here as well, so you can reference it. But yeah, piloting, I mean, of course, you can go into ship design as well. There is a nice weapon at level 16 that you can get access to with um, ship design skill at level 4. So, like, back to the skills again. Back to the skills. Like, we've already started accessing tier 3 by level, what, 8? I think. One, two, or level 6? <laughs> level 6 already. So, yeah, you already ha you could start pumping in starship design. I, 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 and just FYI, guys, I tried other routes to say maybe if, what happens if I go with Starship Design first and go for the most powerful parts versus optimizing like like this these by level 12. And essentially, is that it didn't really matter. Like, you really want to just do this to get the best damage. I, I thought about shields. I thought about maybe upgrading piloting all the way. Like, for piloting, you need to, like, if you want to upgrade piloting all the way, you need to destroy 50 ships, right? You need to destroy 50 ships. By the time you do this, you're like, you're already plus four levels already. So might as well just go this route. This is the best route, most optimized route to go into to level 12, into the Vanguard Bounty Hunter build. All right, so back to the sheet. Um, let's see here. Yeah, from level 17 to 20, I mean, essentially level 17 to 24, you could do whatever, essentially do whatever you want, but the whole goal is you want Starship design by level 24. You want Starship Design level 4, rank 4, by level 24 so you can access engines with the best top speed in the game. Level 25 and further, if you want to optimize space combat, you're thinking about Anatronic Fusion. Um, you're trying to go to Anatronic Fusion. That's a tier 4 science skill. Ship Command, that's a tier 4 social skill. So you can think about that, but pretty much... Like around here, like I'd say, like even like the level 17 to 20 range or level 17 to 24 range, as long as you're getting Starship Design 4 by level 24, this is pretty much like whatever you want to go with, right? Whatever you want to go with, I do recommend having piloting 4 and Starship Design 4 by level 24. That's essentially where where you want to be. Um, but if you want to commandeer like Class B and Class C ships, and might as well just jump into piloting anyway, and just have access to those ships, and not worry about like coming during a ship they don't that you can't pilot level 25 plus like i said this is pretty much a free for all where you want to go if, if it's if it's ship optimization then yeah once again anatronic fusion and ship command is where you want to go so what what am i doing in the quest line so this is the playthrough quest line this is also important to the build because you're trying to one get access to vanguard obliterate our projectors and two collect all the ship crew that will optimize your ship as well like ships um yeah ship stats so, after you get to New Atlantis and com like complete some of the, um, or yeah, basically go to the lodge, get ready to get, the, the first thing I'm trying to do is complete the second Vanguard quest called Grunt Work to gain access to Vanguard ship modules, namely the Vanguard Obliterator R Projectors, right? That's why I'm calling this the Vanguard Bounty Hunter build. This is your, this is the best sh ship weapon in the game of Starfield. And I have a video for that too. Check out the video up there too. So I'm gonna link that to the video on why this Vanguard Obliterator Operators are the best ship weapon in the game. In terms of crew members, you wanna go all the way to, uh, and complete all that money can buy. All right, complete all that money can buy. You can gather all the ship crew members and also gain access to the best Class C ship engines. I said, yeah, might as well get it done and have access to these Class C weapons. Sure, I do not have piloting, um, piloting for to be able to fly Class C ships yet, but hey, you know what? Might as well just get out of the way. At this point in time, you should be level 10. And what I like to do is continue on to do the Mantis quest. Like, you do face, you do, it, like, you need to get a random drop from a spacer to get access to the Mantis quest, right? You need to get that, what, that, uh, that secret outpost drop 
that that tablet, right? You need to get that from the drop from the spacer, but when you do, you have access to do the Mantis quest, and you should be able to get like that. That item drops fairly, <laughs> I mean, fairly easily. It, it drops quite often, so you should be able to do the Mantis quest. And when I did the Mantis quest at level ten, it like when after after I completed that quest, I got up to level twelve. All right, but it's there's a lot of mobs in that quest. I, if you're playing very hard, make sure you have great, like, good weapons, all right? Like, literally, you can play very hard without putting a point into combat, but if you want to make your life easier there, definitely get the weapons for it, or you're just grinding. You're grinding through very hard. That's, that, that's essentially what very hard is, especially when it comes to, um, what? Regular combat, as you call it? Regular combat? Oh my gosh, my, my, my seat is sinking. All right. So once you get access, you do the Mantis Quest, get access to the Razor Leaf. I would then upgrade the Razor Leaf, especially if you're playing very hard. Put those Vanguard Obliterator R Projectors on there. And then what my goal is after that is to find and commandeer the best Class A ship out in Serpentis. Out in Serpentis and continue stealing ships and develop skills. So continue to steal ships, sell them, or get all the weapons and all the, and the, all the pieces there that you can... Um, that you can gain through uh, commandeering ships. So, okay, I'm gonna one video. There's gonna be one video, the quickest way to commandeer ships, like commandeer nine ships in like 30 minutes. And then a second video, I'm putting it up again, referring it to how to sell unregistered ships. <laughs> All right, that's those are two videos right there. Two videos coming up at you on these cards up top. All right, and I mean, essentially, you can do whatever you want during this time period from level 12 all the way to level 24. And I mean, when it comes to ships, then you like design whatever you like, play around. But it's you can get up to level 24 quit really quickly just by doing a bunch of rounds on Serpentis. You have these very high level ships that give you a lot of experience. Like I remember one session, it's like wow, I got into I got from level 12 to 16 in less than 10 minutes. It's kind of insane when you think about it that way. So just think about it. There's there's a lot of things you can do, but there's a lot of also there's a lot of other directions you go by. So it's it's all about what you want to do and what you want to have, um, or what you enjoy in this game. So that's what we're going about there. So what, where am I at now? So yeah, like I said, level 12, the ship. Um, we talked about the skills already. We went through those skills. We talked about the ship. So I've already commandeered the best class A ship. There's a video up there. <laughs> Another video! We got another video link! This week is about building this up too. So this is the Shroud Reaver. This is the Dirge 3 that I commandeered. I like the um, of course I've uploaded up the Vanguard Obliterator R projectors, the PBO 50 auto proton beams. This is like a level 30 type item. Let me bring out that those notes to show you what we're talking about. But this this is something you don't access at level 12. Alright. Vanguard Obliterator R projector, since it's a quest item that you that can unlock, you can get that very early in the game. PBO 50 auto proton beams. All right, got that. PBO 30 auto electron beams. You unlock that at um. You unlock that where? You unlock that at level 12. Yeah, you unlock that at level 12. So I definitely got that there. I mean, and as I pull up my notes, um, engines SA4330 engines. This came off the Dirge 3. So this is a level 40. Um, level 43. Level 43 engine, you also need, like, I think you need rank 4 for this, too. I think you need rank 4. Let me just, let me just go here. Let me just go in here. <laughs> it's like, I can tell you. Let me just show you. Uh, so, ship builder. So, engines, rank 4, level 43. So, this is, like, yeah, the, the best, the best, um, <laughs> or the best class A sh ship that you can commandeer. Because, the, and the, the biggest reason why is because of this piece, the, um, Spheromac DC202 reactor. This is the best class A reactor in the game. 33 generated power, rank 4 starship design. I got this at level 12. All right, got this at level 12 and you like if you want to get this regularly, you need to be level 43. Um, shields. I think I hit the shields right here. So let's go <laughs> Let's go shields. Shields max power 7. This is a level 40 um, three item as well, so there you go. But yeah, just FYI, guys, got all these parts at level at level twelve, and that is because not only um, that I mean that is because of what you're doing to do uh, with the Vanguard 
Bounty Hunter build. All right, so we're going to take this ship. We are going to board it. And um, did I talk about the crew yet? I didn't talk about the crew yet. Let's talk about the crew. And yeah, just to show you that this build can dominate the skies. So here we go. Um, the crew is going to be Andresia, Barrett, Samco, and Sarah Morgan. Andresia adds that extra bonus to energy weapon systems. She adds 10% damage. Barrett adds 50% to particle beam weapon systems. To, so together, 25%. So after your 60% damage is applied to your Vanguard Obliterator, our projectors, your skill, then their additional 25% is applied after that modification. Sam Coe, he brings in another 30% top speed percentage, or 30% percentage to your top speed after your top speed is applied, your um, engine systems are applied, and that's right, dynamics. Did I, did I say that? Did I say that? The reason why you want engine systems, guys, additional 20% top speed, and at rank four, you also have the disengage opportunity. Whenever you boost, um, enemies disengage you. They can't target you until you um, stop boosting. Uh, stop boosting. All right, there you go. Talk about it all, Jeremy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's take this bad boy up to uh, somewhere. Yes. Just to demonstrate. That's not the. That's not the pilot. <laughs> it's, like, it's up here. All right, here you go. That, there's the cockpit. Let's do this. Let's go somewhere. Let's test out. We are playing very hard. Just val Just to verify that for you, we are playing gameplay at very hard level 12. Level 12. All right, and you can take a level 10 ship. All right, and only level 10 parts. Not commandeering another ship to get access to better parts. Level 10 only. Let's do this. Here we go. Music. But we're just doing this with le music. Um, level 12 I'll with the commandeered away. best class A ship. And don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's make sure our energy allocation is set. And... Huh. I'm curious. Let's go. I'm curious. This could be something big. Let's find out. Oh, is this a, this is the Shroud Bearer. All right. I'm going to save real quick. I'm going to save real quick. So once again, the verification, gameplay, very hard. Character, character. Oops, character, level 12. All right, skills up to only level 12. Ship crew, ship crew, Andresia, Barrett, Sam Coe, Sarah Morgan. All right. Let's do this. Vanguard. Vanguard. What do you call this? Vanguard Bounty Hunter build. Okay. Going in. Not the fastest ship. I want to try to avoid fire. From the Shroud Bearer. Is that the weapon from the void? This guy. Alright. Get some distance, get some distance, get some distance. Woo! Alright, recharge shields. Let's see if we can do this. This guy can pit pretty hard. But we're just doing a hit and run tactics here. So this should be okay. This should be okay. Level 45, Varun, Shroud Bear. Let's go. Firing already. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Barely got out of there. Barely got out of there before losing shield. But yeah, that's essentially what we're doing. We're just doing hit and run tactics to go at it. Get our shields back up, make sure our boosters are back up. Get to 3,000 range. Start firing, all right, so zoom out. Get out of range, get out of range. 
there. Cool. So yeah, this is very doable. We're just doing a hit and run tactics. So after we defeat the Shroud Bearer, we'll do a few more runs around Serpentis. But yeah, level 12 ship, everybody. Level 12 ship. Oh, we got him already. <laughs> we, we jumped to level 14. We jumped from level 12 to level 14. That was... That was a level 12 character, level 12 build, taking on the Shroud Bearer at level... <laughs> level... Wait, Shroud Bearer at very hard difficulty at level 12. Hey! Now that's pretty cool. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's do more. Let's do it. Let's go to Serpentis. Let's find a grouping of level 54 ships or something like that. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's put something in a grab drive. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey! <laughs> Should do that every single time you grab them. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right. Oh, got hit. Ooh, ooh. Didn't play this one right. <laughs> Didn't play this one. I'm repairing. I'm repairing. Oh no, we have okay. Our engines are not very good, are not in good shape right now. Let's see if we can get this guy off us by destroying him. Zoom away, zoom away, zoom away. We can take him. We can take him. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Level 44 prophecy. So, <laughs> just so you know, yeah, it, it, you can go toe to toe, but you're also very much, you're very much a glass cannon as well. So you are really using your top speed, your um, your disengage to help you out as you do these fights. Of course, you could always use the the tactic where you're flying backwards. That's another thing you do too, stay stay out of range, but. If you want to go toe to toe, I, I like going toe to toe. Like if you're doing the fly backwards, shoot, shoot people in front of you as they try to get to you, then of course that could take a long time. I mean, it's a cheese tactic that's valid. It's a cheese tactic that's valid, but it could take a while. It could take a while to do it. So I'm waiting. I'm gonna wait for my um, engines, particle beams to repair, and then we'll do we'll do one more. We'll, we'll do we'll do one more set. But yeah. Just FYI, it doesn't mean you're invincible. <laughs> you can dominate. You can dominate with this build, but it doesn't mean you're invincible. There's certain things that, you, there's certain ways that you need to play this build to make it work, and you can just, like, you just kill it. Just kill it. As my, my seat, it keeps sinking. But yeah, all right, there we go. That's that's good enough. Let's go. Let's find out, let's find another set. We have hospital activity over here. Let's see what shows up at the other side of this. Bring him, it out. It's boosting, so it disengaged me, but we can still try to manually shoot it. Oh, okay. Get out of fire range for a little bit. Get back to it. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh no! Yeah, I could have taken it. Could have taken it. Accept your suffering, 
And look at that. We up, we up, we went up, we went piloting. We're level, what, did we just hit level 15? Is that what I just saw? Level 15. Wow. Level 15 already. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do it. We unlock class C or class B ships. So yeah, you're not invincible, but you can do a lot of damage. You can take these ships out. You can start increasing your level really quickly. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. I'll do one more set. Um, but really interesting to see how you can do this. And yeah, you can t you can take out the fleet at Crix at level 10. Let's build. Go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Varun ships here. Um, but yeah, you, have to, you also have to be careful. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you you also have to be careful too. It's like, it's not, yeah, like I said, you're not invincible. So, one more. We'll do one more. Um, and we'll call it good. We'll call this video good. One more. This is the hostile activity. It's a ship. That's not what it is. When it comes to derelict ships, it's like, nah, do I really want to? No. <laughs> All right, one more set, and we'll call it good. We'll call it good. Hopefully that helps demonstrate what the Vanguard um, Bounty Hunter build can do very early in the game while playing very hard difficulty. What is this? What are you? What are you? Colonists? Get subscribed to our YouTube channel. One, the only one show. Oh, two. Here we go. Two. Um, man, I want to find a set of level fifty-four. Okay, one more, one more. I want to find a little a set of level 54 ships. One more set. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Try to get some first shots off. Nope. Alright, got my shields back up. Alright, we're good. We're, good. We're, good. we're safe. Alright. Let's take out this rune prophecy and hopefully I'm hoping that's a little 54 ship. If not, uh then what's the problem? Oh no it's not. Okay. We're fine. Alright. So we couldn't find a set of level 54 ships, but yeah, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys too. Dirge threes, those revelations, those heavy hitters, those bulkier ships. But yes, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Everything does help out. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. But beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. And thank you so much for all of the support. As always, without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you all real soon. Peace.